A sea of solidarity lighting up central Budapest. Thousands of Hungarians standing up for press freedom, which many fear is disappearing under the rule of right-wing Prime Minister Viktor Orban. The latest victim, Hungary's most read news site, Index.hu, seen as one of the country's last independent media. That's made it a frequent target of the Prime Minister, who once called it a fake news factory. But its independence has come under threat after an Orban ally bought control of the site's ad sales. The final straw came a few days ago, when the site's editor-in-chief was fired, prompting more than 80 staff to resign on Friday. Our editor-in-chief was fired this week. And while I don't want to speak on behalf of all of us, for me this was the red line. I cannot work there anymore. Shortly after, thousands of protesters flooded the streets. We want information, real news, and it's getting more and more difficult, almost impossible, to get that in Hungary now. We don't know what's happening around us because the state media isn't telling the truth. Honestly, regardless of the website, the reason why I came to demonstrate is that another independent news portal has fallen victim to the government. I really don't like that, and that's why I came. I don't think there's any free press left. Hungary's foreign secretary denies the government poses a threat to press freedom. Show me a concrete case. When was a journalist in Hungary not allowed to write what they thought? Index is just the latest of several Hungarian news outlets to fall under control of government allies, raising fears here that it won't be the last. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by journalist Justin Spike in Budapest. Justin, thousands of people taking to the streets to show their support for the press. More than 80 journalists from Index walked out. Are we seeing a tipping point in Hungary? Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, so what's happening now with Index is particularly significant because, as you mentioned, Index was the biggest and the most popular independent uh, news outlet in the country. The firing of its editor-in-chief uh, was really the red line for many of these journalists because uh, it represented such a major force in bringing credible and objective information to the people of Hungary in an environment where uh, the media is being continually shrank uh, in the country via purchases by, by government-friendly business people and uh, these kinds of interventions. So the protest that we saw, I think, shows that uh, there is still a lot of support and a lot of hunger for credible and independent uh, news reportage in Hungary. Um, but I think it, it surprised a lot of people that uh, Index was moved upon in, in such a, a quick manner. It surprised me as well. What does this do to the media landscape in Hungary? How independent is the media there now? So as the foreign minister mentioned in your previous clip, uh, journalists can write what they want. There's not a there's not censorship of the internet, uh, but but the environment is being continually whittled away. Um, so what happened to Index recently is almost a carbon copy of what happened to the previously largest and most popular uh, news website, which was called Origo. The same thing happened in 2014. Businessmen close to the government uh, got close to that website. In fact, the same businessman. Uh, who who uh, bought himself into Index just earlier this year. And then uh, the editor-in-chief was fired, and then there were mass walkouts. So there are still a number of independent outlets available in Hungary. I happen to be a contributor to one of them. Uh, they're mostly all on the Internet. But uh, the point is that uh, the it's, it's highly unbalanced. Um, a couple of years ago, there was a foundation which... Uh, which was created, which subsumed basically around 500 um, different media outlets and print, news, uh, newspapers, radio, et cetera, all, all across different mediums. And, uh, and that is uh, a foundation which is controlled directly by the government and it's been labeled a, a matter of national interest. So you have this handful of independent sites uh, on one hand, but then you have this massive uh, empire, essentially, of, of mm. government-controlled media on the other. Yeah, certainly a deterioration. Justin Spike in Budapest, Budapest thanks very much.